In most cases, uh, you see a very good crop on social media or you see it in a supermarket, a very good one, uh, especially in this rain season. Then you try to think, who is supplying these tomatoes? Very nice tomatoes. Um, at least mine are being uh, affected by gutter, uh, late blight, and all other things. How others are doing? Even in terms of size, they are bigger, but mine are very small. What could be the reason? Let me tell you one thing. One of the very important things that you need to make sure when you're doing tomato production is crop protection. Uh, you need to have a spraying program that is going to help you to make sure that you do away with the old uh, pests within the field. So what is uh, important, like, like what you are seeing this day, uh, this crop is being uh, managed through a very good spraying program where every Monday we are spraying, uh, we are putting a chemical to do with the fungal diseases because we are in rain season so these humid conditions they promote the fang of God but we need we make sure that we spray after um, uh, every Monday we spray uh, uh, prefinitive fungicide either bravo either copper oxychloride. chloride um, then from there after every rain when the rain stops we come up with another uh, prefinitive fungicide then whenever we, 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 we suspect any uh, fang of God we come up with the uh, Cape corners of Metalaxo, the Aurelian, so that we do away with all the fungal diseases that might happen within the field. Then, in terms of irrigation, of course, it, there's rain, so we, we can't control. But in terms of irrigation outside uh, summer season, we need to make sure that we apply our water in a very in the right quantity so that we don't promote water loading conditions within the field. And also, this is rain season, so we come up with this uh, ridge so that we make sure that all the water. Uh, that is um, coming in is drained through this ridge so that water is coming in into the lower part of the ridge so that we drain all the water from the from the from the ridge that is very important then again from there to promote proper nutritional requirement for the crop remember this crop is going to be harvested for more than uh, five months within this field so what we do is we do what we call the nutrient bank the nutrient bank is going to be put with manure, mulch. So what we do, we uh, dig up to um, um, 60 centimeters, then we put manure. That is the important of uh, integrated farming. We are having our own beef animals, we are having our own goats, our own poultry. So we take manure from there, then we apply. So that, because remember, when this crop reached nine months, the roots might be 60 centimeter long or even one meter. Uh, so what it means, those, the tape root might not uh, take the ammonium nitrate that you are going to apply on the plant so it takes that uh, those nutrients from the manure so manure is very important when you are doing tomatoes either in the, within the greenhouse or in the in the open field <coughs> so th those are the some of the things that we need to, 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 to make sure then after that when the crop is now at flowering you, 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 you come up with your potassium nitrate of course it's very important then a uh, calcium nitrate to make sure you promote uh, your quality roots but what is more important is crop protection, number one, uh, where you, you are controlling your diseases. Leaf miner is one of the uh, challenging pests in tomato production because it causes uh, serious damage because you lose the, 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 the price, you lose the value of your crop because of um, those tutors. So you need to have your belt, you need to have your uh, different uh, pesticides. You can check the spring program when you use those ones. Then again, you also need to balance number of fruits that are produced by the plant and the nutrient that is available remember plant like any other living organism when you don't when that when the plant doesn't have enough uh, resources uh, in terms of nutrients to support the plants it about the flowers it about the fruits so you end up things that maybe it's a pest or it's a physiological disorder but naturally the plant realized that um I don't have the capacity of uh, holding these fruits, so it about flowers. So you need to apply the fertilizer very well, and also based on the nutrient bank that you applied, it's also a very important. Thank you so much.